So, I'm Tom from Fan Dabby Dozy, and in this video, I'm working together with DD Hammocks. I'm in the winter wonderland of Central Highlands of Scotland near Loch Ness, and uh, in this video, I'm going to cover some camp placement, some fire lighting skills, as well as some other bushcrafty stuff. So, let's get started. So because there's very little hours of daylight this time of year, I'm uh, going to have to set up camp quite soon. So I don't want to be on too high a ground because I might get wind chill factor. But I also don't want to be down in a gully because cold air will collect there. So right now I'm just looking for uh, a kind of flat area of land, flattish area of land, uh, and a kind of middle altitude to uh, start set up a camp. So this seems like an alright place to set up my hammock. I'm sort of on a middle altitude. Uh, there's nothing that is going to fall my head in the middle of the night. There's a water source nearby and there seems to be some firewood. That's me finished setting up camp. I'll take down these sticks when I go to bed to keep me a bit more sheltered. So the tarp I'm using is the DD 3x3 and the hammock is the travel hammock. I've had both of them for a couple of years and I've had no problems. But this is probably going to be the coldest I've ever slept out in a hammock. So this is my new toy and this is the DD under blanket and it clips on underneath your hammock and creates a pocket of air to keep you a bit warmer at night. Uh, this is rated down to minus five and apparently tonight it might get down to minus five. So I think it'll be a good test. Uh, as well as this, I've also got a thick down sleeping bag. So fingers crossed, I'll be nice and cozy. So when you want to light a fire in wet and cold conditions, it's always good to keep an eye out for dead or fallen conifer trees. So basically the resin of conifer trees is very flammable. And when the tree dies, the resin will flow down with gravity and collect in certain areas, like this joint of the branch here. You can then isolate the wood that's soaked in the resin, and this is called fat wood or resin wood. So it's proving pretty difficult to find any dry firewood because everything is caked in snow and ice. So uh, I found this dead standing wood and I'm now just splitting it to get to the, the dry wood inside. So when you've isolated a drier inner part of the log, you can do what's called feather sticking. Which you carve off thin slivers of the wood in order to increase the surface area and uh, hopefully allow it to catch fire much easier. So that's my fire lay finished. I've dug away the turf on top and put that aside. Uh, so I'm gonna bury it and hide my fireplace tomorrow. And then just put some split sticks at the bottom of the fire lay to protect my fire from the cold white ground when I start it off. This is just a small reflector wall to uh, Bounce back some of the heat towards me. So uh, let's try to light fire. <laughs> it's gonna get dark soon. So this is some of the fat wood I harvested earlier. This stuff I'm gonna scrape into a fine powder, which is hopefully gonna catch my spark. Then I have a few extra bits that I 
loosely feather stick and hopefully that will extend my burn time and allow my slightly wetter tinder material to catch fire. So once you have a pile of fat wood dust, about the size of a pound coin, that should be enough to try hit it with your ferro rod. Ooh. See that black smoke go? Morning. You know what? Surprisingly good sleep. I wasn't cold. Even though there's ice formed in the outside of my mosquito net. But admittingly, I, I did use my canteen as a hot water bottle, which worked a treat. Oh no. My boots are frozen. Come on, Mr. Booty. It's an absolutely glorious winter morning, but I'm afraid I need to go home now. Big thanks to Didi Hammocks for helping me out in this video. Thanks to everyone who watched, and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Cheerio!